have you remembered something? What are you talking about? Mr. Young, I've placed a memory left by her in your house. That memory belongs to something in my house, a memory with her. Clover, little Peggy? Could it be? Hmm, it's like I'm not even here. Control be an issue if I can't find it. <sighs> Sir, can I help you with anything? Where's Olivia? Excuse me, sir. Exactly which Miss Olivia are you searching for? Olivia Jones. She's a member of the crew, just like you are. I'm very sorry, sir, but she isn't aboard this flight. Come on. Did that lightning strike you too? She was right here a moment ago. In any case, you need to contact Logan Airport immediately. Tell them we have an emergency up here. Also, get the BPD to send some cops to the airport. Detective Forrest Kazin in particular. Give him my name and you'll have no problems. Well, excuse me, sir. Are you hoping to use this confusion for something nefarious? If so, I'll have to stop you. Ugh, damn Next it. time, I'll break more than your watch. My most humble apologies, Mr. David Young. This incident has us all a little riled up, I'm sure. Huh? I'll make the call about the suspicious person immediately. To our destination, Ronald Reagan International Airport. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Marshal, are you okay? What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. You'd think nothing happened at all. I don't need your jabber, boy. Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure why, but he seems determined to ignore me. That's a pretty great photo. Did you take it? Can I tell you what I like the most? It's that your bald head isn't in it. Uh, don't tell me. 
You weren't the cameraman. You were the flashbulb. But that's a surprise. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. Listen up. I don't know who you are. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. And as for my head, I'm not bald. I shave it. Marshal Buchanan doesn't know who I am? There's something very odd going on here. But just what is it? What's wrong with you? says Boston quite like this. There must be a baseball fan on board. Boston versus New York. Pretty good seats, too. Of course, it's been used. Things don't come that easy. Sherry, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in D.C. Ooh, I think some Chardonnay might be nice. Didn't your mannequin just break? Hey, excuse me. She's Suki, not a mannequin. Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about you, mannequin. <sighs> my bad. No more about Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> Your choice is in fashion. So terrible. How can one walk outside wearing that? Choices in fashion. So terrible. How can one walk outside wearing that? Your mannequin. I mean, is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. <laughs> Oh, you're so good. Oh, my Suki. Suki, you are just too lovely. If I were to lose you, 
I doubt I could go on living. This does look like the real Suki. Is it just what's going on here? When did you become a military maniac? This is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? <sighs> Progress cannot be stopped. When we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just look. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent, like fluttering petals. At any moment, new inspiration is going to just explode into my brain. Like, oh, uh, of, and... Ah, uh, Vaughn. Ah, uh, Vaughn, God. Eureka! <laughs> yes. Your exclamation just lifted the fog from my brain in a flash! Now, say it with me. Oh, Vogue! This will be my next theme! You've got red powder on your clothes. What is it? A <gasps> chew. Oh, excuse me. Now then, uh, where exactly is this red powder on my clothing? I don't see anything at all. An elite fashion designer, and a mysterious powder? My instincts as a former narcotics detective tell me something's up. I'll question him and find out more. Brilliant lights cast deep shadows. What's that supposed to mean? Musicians, artists, designers, top clientele for drug pushes. I don't deny it. And you're one of them too? I don't need that stuff. I've got Suki. There's nothing that can possibly stimulate me more than her. Comparing her to the effects of mere chemicals, synthetic drugs, <laughs> you may as well just slap her in the face. Yours is a world of trends, isn't it? Well, there are trends in drugs, too. You're sensitive to trends, right? You know what I'm talking about. Real blood. The ultimate drug. Considered the final and best of the blood series. As the name might suggest, it's a bright red powder. Just like the suspicious powder I saw on your clothing. You seem quite desperate to paint me as a junkie. But you're just overthinking things. The substance you question is nothing like that silly, real blood. It's far more wonderful, revolutionary, like a completely new age. For now, well, just call it D. Tell me more about this new age. <clears throat> no comment. If it's all legit, 
Surely you can tell me about it. Mm. It isn't time to reveal anything yet. You'll hear about it soon enough, along with the rest of the world. So you're planning on spreading a new age called D across the entire world simultaneously? <laughs> no comment. Hmm. This guy could be a lot more dangerous than he looks. I'll try taunting him a little. I've worked it out. The D of this new age is the D from Duncan. Oh! Oh! In other words, you want to make your own name the symbol of this new age. The whole world will be under the spell of the red powder that bears your name. But that isn't art. It's just attention seeking. The desire for conquest. Just another wannabe dictator. Is that what Suki wants? Say whatever you like. It's not like you can stop me. This guy is tougher than I thought. He knows I don't have anything on him, okay? I'll slap him with some proof. Something he can't run away from. All this talk of a new age called D, though. I just hope my bad feeling about all this is way off the mark. Think to try this, I must be getting tired. What a beautiful sunset. It reminds me of the day I proposed. <laughs> Little Peggy. I'll find who killed you. I will. I've collected all the puzzle pieces. The west side window. Be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. I'm very sorry, sir. She wasn't I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved. Marshall. Are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be. But that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you The same uh, trick won't work God twice. Damn it! Although it's still the first time for you. The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. What? 
The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? The destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly! I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after, you're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. Even if it means I have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, one other thing. Something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as Rabbit. to be killed? Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. Literally, vanished. But they didn't vanish at all. They were never on this flight. This isn't the AG Flight 117 of Boston. It's a different aircraft heading for Washington. In other words, they didn't vanish. I moved. It must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. Feel anything from either one anymore. David. Why do you shave your beard every day? <laughs> it was just starting to grow out. It's such a waste. Little Peggy. What should I do? Damn! 